now that the game's over, we select the More tab and we return back out to the Root menu, select Box Score, and there we can scroll around and see the plate appearances, at bats, strikeouts, on base percentage, slugging, batting average. Check out the fielding percentage, total chances, put outs, assists. Pitching stats, Marie pitched three and a third and Cassie pitched one and two thirds. Three total strikeouts. for the home team Megan pitched a complete five inning 24 batters faced six runs five of them earned the only unearned was the international tie-breaking run The home team batting statistics. And we're going to go to the home team score sheet and we're going to change that 5E3 to an E5. It was determined that it was an errant throw and not an error on the part of the first baseman. So we just touch the 5E3 to bring up the advanced details and change the 5E3 to E5 and select Done. Now we can go back to the More tab where the box score is already up. Select the Home Fielding. Actually, it's the Visiting Fielding. And we can see that Hillary is now charged for two errors instead of one. And there you can see the start time was set to the first pitch time and now we're ready for the finalize no errors so we set the game state to end from time limit select next there we see the start and the end time and we want to change this to a seven inning regulation game and the game did end in the bottom of the fifth and Cassie was the pitcher of record when the visiting team took the lead and Megan was the only pitcher for the home team so she is the losing pitcher and select done and now when we go to the pitching statistics and we scroll to the right we can see game started and now Cassie is credited with the win and for the home team we can see game started complete game complete game loss and those statistics aren't very meaningful for just a single game but in the future, K-Force will support uh, seasons, and that's when they'll come into play. And now we're going to email the game. 
I already have my email address in there and I hit send. And if I go back out to the root menu and select games again, I can see the Hurricanes 6, the Rebels 5, and it's a final after five innings. That's it for the tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. I usually recommend new users score two complete games before heading to the ballpark. Scoring along with me here should go a long way towards preparing you for live scoring at the fields. Thank you for watching and good luck to your team this season. Suggy hung.